about this feeling of respect and we said that if we evaluate you know, human being on the basis of the self right? and that will be a slight evaluation then we find that the purpose, the program and the potential of every one of us turns out to be same. If I can see this, I can conclude that the other is like me. <coughs> if you make the right evaluation of a human being, then I will be able to see that the other is like me. <coughs> and I am saying this is the minimum content of respect for a human being. So the question was that Today, when you talk of this fact, do you talk in terms of the fact that the other is like me or you are trying to differentiate in the name of this fact? This differentiation is <coughs> created on the basis of body, on the basis of flexibility, on the basis of beliefs. What do you think? What is the basis of respect today? This or this? So this has become the basis of respect, which is essentially differentiation, which is essentially disrespect. Very interestingly, what we are trying to do in the name of respect is resulting into disrespect. <laughs> right? And therefore it is creating a lot of problems in this society. But the major problems in the society that you will see today right, has to do with this differentiation, which is done in the name of respect. So for example, you will respect the elders not the younger. And there is creating so much of generation gap. And there is a movement against this generation gap. To differentiate between the gender, we will respect the male and not the female. Or respect more, you know, female with respect to the male. 
this differentiation is creating so much a problem, right? The feminine movement all around. <coughs> then race, so you will respect the white and not the black. <coughs> That's why you are buying 10,000 rupees a kg cream, you know, trying to become white. <laughs> <laughs> And this racial discrimination, so much of you know, movement is going on against this racial discrimination. Then there is respect on the basis of physical strength. The whole concept of this king to begin with, right? or the you know the tribal chief was the man who has the highest physical strength will be given the respect. Uh, others will not be given respect. Just <coughs> cause differences. And those who are physically weak, they have come up with weapons. So they have come up with bandook, the guns, and then the nuclear bomb. Huh? War heroes. Yes. Big battle. Yes. To kill the millions. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and in the you know protest to that, people have come up with guns. Now they have come up with nuclear bomb. Now you can't even reach them, right? So this physical strength is no more important because if you cannot physically reach to the other person, your physical strength is not going to work. The other person will hit you from this distance only. <laughs> so that is how the gun and the nuclear bomb has come, right? So there is a whole lot of war against this. Similarly, you are discriminating on the basis of physical facilities. So you will respect a man with lot of wealth and not respect a man with less wealth. So everybody is trying to accumulate wealth. And there is so much of fight going on between the, those who have the wealth and those who are have not. Then this position. So there is a fight between those who have the position and those who do not have the position. So if you look at, I keep telling this, if you look at this, Chaprasi is sitting outside the office of the director or any head of the department. <coughs> the Chaprasi feels that this man is doing nothing. Just sits there, he can't even take a glass of water and drink. That also I have to provide. <laughs> so much so of you know, movement going on against each one of them. In Bhutan we have uh, white scarf, uh, red scarf, uh, blue scarf, white, green scarf, yeah, without fringe. These, these are, this has divided now, especially in terms of democracy when you call it. So we need to bring down to all white colors now. <laughs> <laughs> only within us. interesting thing is that if you look at this democracy, <laughs> right, it has created its own positions. <coughs> it is also not free from this differentiation. The only thing is that it has created positions of different kind. Like I remember one of my uh, students you know, was from, his father was from medical college. When he came to meet us, so he was trying to tell us that, you know, he's very open-minded, things like that. So, many times he repeated that, I am very open-minded, you know, and I don't believe in the caste. So, my daughter got married in the caste, you know, and I didn't oppose it. That is go hurt. So, I asked him, what is, what the boy is doing? So, he said, he is an engineer. I said, don't worry, it is not inter-caste, it is only inter-caste, not inter-class. Because the daughter is also engineer. And the, you know, the boy is also engineer. 
<laughs> Though you have done intra-class, intra-caste, but the class is same. <laughs> now we have created a new class, the class of engineers, right? class of doctors, right? and the class of common man. <laughs> so, this democracy has its own, you know, kind of uh, this differentiation by way of position, by way of income groups. Like every, <coughs> at least in India, you know, like every college or every government institution has all these class 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't know where it is there in Bhutan or not, but in India, <coughs> these four classes are there. The class one officer will have a house which has four rooms. The class two will have three rooms. Class three will have two rooms. And class four will have one room. Right? And the number of children. <laughs> So you can see all that. <laughs> so, this differentiation we are making. Then we are making differentiation on the basis of the sex or the, you know, the different isms. So, different beliefs we have. We think our sect is higher than other sects. Or myism is better, no? Higher than other isms. So capitalism <coughs> think that, you know, capitalism is better than socialism. Or communism <coughs> and vice versa. All these differentiation, they are the basis of respect. <coughs> and ultimately it causes differentiation. Which ultimately causes disrespect. And with the modern education, we have created one another set you know, which comes under the beliefs. That is, people having different set of information. So, differentiating on the basis of information, not knowledge. And then we have BA degree, bachelor's degree, master's degree, PhD degree. I put this, added this. <coughs> So this is what we are doing. And what do you think? They are creating respect, ensuring respect, or it is causing differentiation. It is causing disrespect. So therefore, there is a movement going on against each one of them. So this is the basis of respect today in this <coughs> and this is the cause of disrespect, cause of differentiation and it is increasing the problem in the society so much. If you think you will get respect on the basis of wealth, then you go on accumulating more and more wealth. And on the one hand it is not ensuring respect. On the other hand, it is creating differentiation. Therefore, everybody else is not busy trying to accumulate more and more wealth. And the Malaysian people are not happy. Yes. They are unhappy and deprived. <laughs> <laughs> and they are also creating this feeling of deprivation in many other people. In fact, slowly the roads okay, are made for the fast cars right? and it is almost made inaccessible to the pedestrians. <laughs> it has become difficult for the pedestrian to walk. <clears throat> so now you think that you also better have a car rather than walk because you know, it is now very difficult to walk. So all this, you know, the positions, the physical strength, the race, the, you know, all of them are creating so much of a 
In fact, many of the physical facilities which you make use of today <coughs> is to support one of these things. You are trying to look good. Right? But there is a basis of this racial discrimination. Right? You still think white are better than the black, the browns. So you are trying to turn yourself white. There was a whole lot of this business, you know, of this world. <laughs> and for a few years, it was consecutively given to the <coughs> ladies who were very high, you know, height. <laughs> so there was a lot of competition. It appears that many, you know, girls in China, they started getting, operated their heels. So the heels were operated and then six inch of this piece of bone was added in between to make them high, taller. <laughs> and you can do all kinds of funny things with this kind of... <laughs> yeah, yeah, what is this idea of high heels? Why are you trying to wear high heels? High heels, you know, your chappal is a very high heel. You are trying to make yourself higher, you know, because you think that the taller people are respected. <laughs> you see, we have to start evaluating all these actions first. What is the origin otherwise? Because they are really doing difficult things. <laughs> yes. You know that I'm short. So when we were in college in Punjab University, so there was an advertisement Insta height to make taller, to grow taller. And there are two. So three of us who are short have decided to go for this pizza. <laughs> and we brought, uh, we, we, we were asked to spend uh, 65 rupees at that time. And in 70s, early 70s, 65 was quite a lot of money for us. So we contributed to increase our right. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know in Punjab, everybody was tall when we had to start. <laughs> we were really being deprived. <laughs> so we, uh, we brought this. And then the, finally when we got the uh, equipment, it was to put it in our neck and uh, some kind of a rope we pulled out. <laughs> <laughs> we tried this for about a month and then he says that you have to comb your hair to make two inches taller like this. <laughs> put on another two inches or three inches on the hill so then two inches here and, uh, three inches down five inches already taller <laughs> then to look then to put on a cloth which is of a dark one which will also make you, you know, taller. So we put on the dark. <laughs> so that worked for about a few months. After that, we all regretted. <laughs> 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 Another example that we should give uh, before about a son and a father. When you were describing the son coming to sleep after the father, uh, son uh, wakes up only after father goes to office, and then uh, he will uh, wake up around 10, 12. Then when the father comes back home, the son will come only come after the father is sleep. So there was no. This is why he you exactly described. And when you were describing, I thought that. Sama, how did you get my information? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> when I was a young, <laughs> I was a son and then my father left. Exactly as So I was wondering, how can Guruji do a vote by him? The very interesting thing is. If you read from such a true experience, then. In fact, most of the examples we are taking, they are so called real life examples, you know. This real undercoat. And this is what is happening, you know, in every house this is happening. So, what we are doing is, we are trying to understand the basis of what is happening. And then we are trying to change the basis. So, is that right? So, if the very basis is set correct, then all these things, you know, what we are calling real, and they are not real. That is why they are creating so much of problem in us. But we consider them real because they are happening. And this is happening in almost every house. Everybody is troubled. So when we take this example, everybody feels that we are talking about him. But that's the way things are. It has to be resolved. So in order to resolve, we have to try working out the right basis for it. Uh, I want to comment on show or uh, on this one. Therefore, I want to make one suggestion on uh, the differentiation, uh, differentiation rules of on the body. There are four factors that is age, gender, race, and physical strength. And I want to suggest that uh, again, one point is to be added, or one fact is, uh, factor should be added that is physical shape or a physical structure. Sir. Uh, yeah, yeah, this way is, you know, <laughs> <coughs> there are many sub-branches of this. <coughs> you see, this whole story is created, that particular, you know, type of physical body belong to a higher race <laughs> as compared to the other. <laughs> right? So, it is either in terms of the shape, or in terms of the you know color, or in terms of you know height, and many such things. And interesting enough, if you look at the this, you know, many traditions we have in the world, previously they all had their own story, trying to prove that their race is the highest. But now it has all become flat. With all getting Western dominated. Right? The Western race is supposed to be the highest race. Right? And everybody else is supposed to be subjugated to it. Right? But if you look at it previously, interesting enough, right? the every society has its own concept of this which race is higher. Right? In fact, if you look at the records, when Britishers came to India, First, almost 30-40 years, one major complaint they have is that these people in India teach us and treat us as untouchables. Okay. This is the major complaint. And they were called in Indian terms as Malach. Malach. Malach uh, means whose desires are corrupted. Mal is corrupt, you know, those poor men. Iksha, Malach means whose desires are corrupt, you know. That's called Malach. So they were called by the name of Malach. And nobody wanted to touch them physically because they th thought that they have what you call as disease, you know. Leprosy. 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 They are suffering from leprosy. That is why they have become so white. 
<laughs> and for quite some years, you know, years, till they came into domination. This was, you know, considered to be the belief. So he had our own story you know, in India that this brown people are the real people. All these are this Malaysians. Don't even touch them. But now this is gone. Okay. It has become all uniform. Because the Western culture is you know, prevailing all over the world. So the whites are considered to be the highest race as compared to you know, others. I think Bhutanese must be having their own you know, story, nation. <laughs> yes. But then, when we study human being, every one of us is a human being. Whether we are in India or in Bhutan or you know, England or anywhere else, all these differentiations which have become the basis of respect are creating this system. They are creating havoc in the society. In fact, majority of the problem that you see in the society will relate to this. Majority of the movements which are taking place in the society Right? We relate to this. All your terrorism, war, everything has to do with this. Simple issue of respect and disrespect. And because we have not understood the respect properly, and because we are not ensuring respect, right? this minimum content of respect, it is creating so much of problem. Something which could be done simply out of the understanding of respect. Right? If I had the understanding of respect, I would have the feeling of respect. If I had this feeling of respect, I can share it with everybody. You don't need anything else to do for it. But instead of this, we have been doing this. And if you do this, you create all kind of havoc. Like I keep taking this example of Mahabharata. If you look at the whole history of Mahabharata, it seems that to begin with it was a fight in relation to the dominant you know, in, you know, kingdom. So who will have the kingdom? Duryodhan or the Yudhishthir, the Pandavas or the Kauravas. But at one point, after a lot of in fights and everything, at one point it was all settled down. Part of the kingdom was given to Pandavas in a place called Indraprasth, which is now Delhi. And major part of it was given to the Duryodhan in Hastinapur. So they settled down there and they made a castle, you know, big castle in uh, Indraprasth. And it was made in a manner that wherever there was floor, it looked like water. And wherever there was water, it looked like floor. Mm. So that is the, you know, supposed to be very high, you know, you know, achievement of the architecture. Is it good to make such houses? <laughs> <laughs> where it is water, it looks like floor. And where there is floor, it looks like water. So misleading, right? Then you want to differentiate, that is the whole idea. So that house, that castle was made and everybody was invited including Duryodhan. So when Duryodhan came, right, where he saw there is floor, he just put his leg there and it was water. So he fell into the water. <laughs> right? Whose fault is this? <laughs> Karas or Pandas? Pandas, right? <coughs> So when he fell into the water, then Drogdi <coughs> laughed at him, telling that the blind son is blind. And this was very hurting for Duryodhan. Right? And Duryodhan said that you have insulted me in public, and I will insult you in public. Yeah. And that is how it began. Mahabharata began. <laughs> so, and they fought this Mahabharata on this simple issue. Right? This 
अंडर इवेल्युएशन और दिस डिफ्रेंसिएशन विच द्रौपदी क्रिएटेड ऑन दी वन हैंड ही वॉज नॉट ब्लाइंड फिजिकली फादर वॉज ब्लाइंड इट वॉज इन सच इन दैट सेंस बट इफ यू लुक एट यू नो द पीपल हु आर ब्लाइंड इफ यू कॉल दैम ब्लाइंड